Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Stephanie, and today we're going to talk you through the movements and our flow that we do in all of our classes. So Nikki's going to demonstrate. So as she comes to the mat, we're going to start in downward facing dog. So you can see that she's got her fingers spread nice and wide, she's pressing through her palms, and she's sending her chest back to really open her shoulders. So we start in downward facing dog. From there, we're going to move into an upward plank. So she takes an inhale and comes into her upward plank position. So you can see she's lifting through the crown of her head. She has her head, her hips, her heels all in a line. Her core is nice and tight. She's squeezing her butt. If this is too much for you and you ever want to modify, you can always drop down to your knees. And this is a great way to take a flow as well. Or if you're back in that plank position, your legs are nice and strong. So again, we inhale in plank. And as we exhale, we lower down to a low push-up or a chaturanga. So you can see as she comes down that her arms are 90 degrees, her elbows are nice and tight. She's still staying really strong through her lower body belly in. So she exhale, then we inhale and lift up to an upward facing dog. So you can see that she rolled her toes under, she's lifting up through her chest. Her shoulders are right over her wrists, her neck is nice and long. And then we'll exhale back to a downward facing dog. So we'll go through it one more time without pausing so you can see how it kind of flows. So we start in downward dog, we inhale to a plank position, good, then exhale to chaturanga, low push up, inhale, lift up to a strong upward facing dog, and then exhale back to a downward facing dog, and that's your flow.